Hello, my loves. How are you guys today? Um, I know, hella late, but I have my son's party today, so I've been a little bit busy. Um, so, again, you're being asked to surrender to divine timing, okay? For those of you, this is, uh, it could be a woman, maybe a man for some of you, but it's showing me a female, female energy. That is a healer. That is uh, her gift. That's what she came here for. And at this point, it's important for you to find appreciation in the small things. You know, the little things in life and stop worrying about the bigger picture. And it's a uh, lead by example. It's kind of like follow the leader, but you're leading by example. So what you're doing right now is... As you're changing and transforming, there might be some parts of your story that you haven't shared with anyone that you might need to start sharing. Hello, how are you? So, it's a time where as you transform and you change and you start growing and you're going through these things, then there's stories that you need to share so that way people can understand or relate or that you can help someone else go through whatever it is that they're going through and get out of it okay so you are aware of this now for some of you you know you're aware that you're transitioning and you're changing and you're evolving into a better version of you i'm gonna say um hang on one second please um now, for some of you, this is uh, in regards to a romantic situation that some of you have evolved, have evolved into and been transitioning through this. So maybe you've been a little bit more guarded and you haven't been able to like enjoy the beauty of it and see the beauty of the situation. So, in this relationship, they're showing that it is something that, you know, it. you've been working on, you know, you've been working towards, but maybe it's that you haven't been open and honest in this relationship, so you haven't shared everything that you need to share. So try to be open and communicative because... It's important for whatever dealings this is, if this is a relationship that you're trying to develop, it's saying maybe by summertime it will be able to happen. It will be able to create this relationship, but it looks like it's, um, if you've been in doubt about this, you're coming out of that doubt. Like you've kind of been going within and trying to find the balance and see what it is that's been keeping you blocked off because it's showing that you've been working on yourself and working on healing the things that you need to heal in order to allow this relationship to happen. Okay, so you're kind of finding your way out of that right now. And for those of you, this is important because it seems like this may be um, someone from your past, you know, uh, someone you've known from your childhood, or it could be past life. But in this situation, you know, it's... Um, it's something that you've been in thought about that you've been kind of revisiting and you haven't been sure about, but it looks like you're finding clarity on the situation. And spirit wants you to understand that you're the best judge of what's right for you. Okay. Nobody else knows what's right for you or what will be best for you. Hello, my love. Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. <laughs> Um, so if it is in regards to this relationship and you've kind of been in the dark and you've been trying to figure out what it is that you need to do because it shows that you've been kind of thinking and you know, you are aware, maybe you're aware that this other person does have feelings for you or that, you know, it is a situation from your past life, from your childhood that you're just like, okay, this is a person that is for me, but you you know what's best for you, okay? You can't allow other people to tell you or dictate what is and isn't best for you, what you should and shouldn't do, okay? This is time for you to step up and take the lead in this relationship, in your life, and whatever it is, okay? You have to step up to the plate and say, okay, 
I want this to happen. How can I make this happen? Or I want this to happen and how do I stop letting other people influence me? You know, it's hard when you have to stand up to other people in regards to your feelings about someone. So please be aware of this and know that only you know what is best for you. Okay, while other people might have the best intentions, you know, great and be appreciative of their intentions, but ultimately it's your love, it's your life. Okay, it's not for everyone to understand. So if it's someone that you truly love and you're like, yes, I want this person and I really love this person. And let's say your mother, your father, your sister, brother are like, why this is not a good person for you. It's not their decision to choose who's best for you. It's your decision to choose who's best for you because you know what you feel. You know what is best for you. They might believe they know because they want the best for you. But ultimately, it's not their life. It's not their journey. And it's important for you to communicate this to the person that you're dealing with or the person that you um, the person that you have your heart set on. OK, yeah. you have to communicate this Daddy to that person walk. and show them that you are interested Daddy or tell walk. them that you are interested. Hang on one second. So be open to this because you have to be able to release your ego. You have to be able to release your pride and release all of the fears that you have in going towards this person. And granted, yes, you may be judged for going towards this person. But you have to be okay with that judgment. If it's truly what your heart desires, you have to be okay with being judged by people. Because regardless if you go with this person or it's it's the next person, there's always going to be someone judging you or saying you shouldn't have done this or you shouldn't have done that. And that's fine But because as long as you keep allowing people to do that, you're never going to be truly happy because you're allowing other people's influence to dictate how... It is that you want to live or what it is that you want out of life, even if it is a person, whatever it is. You can't allow other people to dictate what it is that you're trying to do with your life, okay? Even if it is in business, if you have people that are like, oh, you can't do this or that's a stupid idea or any combination, you have to understand that you don't need their approval. You only need to believe in you, okay? You don't need everyone else to believe in you. While it's nice to have people supportive and that believe in you, it's not always plausible. You know, it don't always happen that way. So you have to believe in you and trust that you know what's best for you and not what everyone else thinks is best for you or what you should be doing with your life, okay? So you have to set your intention and stay focused. And it's necessary to move quickly to achieve this goal. So if it is a person that you are going after, Maybe your window of opportunity is closing and you need to make this movement. You need to communicate this to that person. And again, it doesn't have to be like, okay, well, I'm ready to get married and that's what happens. It's just expressing your interests, expressing what it is that you want out of this and hopes that, okay, well, can we work on a friendship and maybe see how things go and get to that point? Okay, so you have to see how that is. And it's saying that whatever you're going through right now, it is an initiation into your purpose of a healer. Because as I said when I started, you know, some of you are healers. You have that gift. You are meant to heal. And all of the things that you're going through or that you've been through have been to help you to evolve, have been to help you to change and grow your soul. So if this is a person from your past, then it is a soulmate, you know. It could be a twin flame, but it is someone that you have a deep connection with. And perhaps they have been helping you to get to where you need to be spiritually. So please be aware of this, you know. Um, it's time for you to step up because you have a purpose on this earth that you need to fulfill, okay. And this person, it is your true love, okay? Um, whatever you've been trying to manifest, maybe all of your failed relationships, you've been tweaking and saying, well, no, this one didn't work out, so the next person, I want them to have this, this, and that. 
And the more you do that, the more you've perfected your person. So the universe has now delivered that person to you. It's just up to you to decide if you're going to take the risk on that person. You know, because everything is cause and effect. So if this is a soulmate, this is a person that is truly for you, then you guys have to be spiritually on the same level. Okay, you guys have to be emotionally on the same level. You guys have to be at the same level in order for this to be a good match for it to work out in a beneficial way. And like I said, when you find your soulmates, they're meant to help you grow. You know, sometimes they're for forever. Sometimes they're just to get you to the next level. You decide what this person is to you, okay? But understand that your thoughts and what you do and don't do cause your life. They create your life. So if you're not putting forth the effort, if you're not taking action towards this person or towards this situation, then understand that you're allowing it to become stagnant. You're allowing it to kind of dissipate. And it's something that was meant for you. It's something that you've been asking the universe for. So why would you let it just drift away out of your life? You know, try to understand what it is that you're doing. Because the way it looks right now, it's like you've been asking for this, you've been wanting this. And this is a person you've known for a long time. This is a person from your childhood and you probably shared past lives. Because with their... <sighs> Again, I this is another true... This is a true pair. This is a power couple. I have the emperor and the empress here. Okay? So please, be smart in what you're doing. But be firm. You know, if this is something that you want and you've been kind of indecisive about it, it's important for you to say, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to take this risk. I'm going to take this leap because now is the time for action. You have to take that action. Okay? Because once you take that action, the success of this relationship is going to bring you a life of luxury. It's going to bring you all of your other wishes that you've been hoping and waiting for okay but it's uh you have to be dedicated to it okay and you have to practice self-discipline so this is a perfect time for you to make movement because they're showing that you're taking movement so maybe you know who this person is and they're going to be traveling towards you or vice versa however it's working out for you understand that this is the person that was created for you and you have a purpose here as a healer okay so you have to stop procrastinating because your power comes from making a decision okay your confusion comes from over analyzing and being over critical and thinking too far into this instead of allowing your intuition and your heart to lead and guide you so that's what you need to do at this point is just trust yourself because you know what you want. Don't let everyone else influence your decision because when you allow all of these other influences, that's when you get fucked up. That's what fucks you up is because you're trusting and you're believing all these other people and you're like, they're like, nah, fuck that. You shouldn't do this and nah, I wouldn't do that and blah, 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 blah. And that's fine. Maybe they wouldn't do that. But this is not their life. This is not their journey. This is not their person. Okay, so while they might still be at a lower vibration where they're not understanding the connection, they're not understanding the purpose of the things you've experienced together. They're not getting why these lessons were necessary in order for you to have this partnership. So just be careful and be cautious with the people you're having these conversations with and the people you're allowing to influence your life, okay? Because I'm going to say at least 99% sure that their life is not their best life, okay? They didn't follow their dreams. They didn't go after that person that they loved with everything they had inside them. And they settled for something that was less because maybe they got their feelings hurt or maybe something happened. And that's what happens when you come to your person. That person is going to, it has to be unconditional love between both sides. You have to be unconditionally loving. 
and it can't be one person's unconditionally loving and the other one's loving with conditions where I'll love you as long as you behave in this manner or you do as I say or whatever combination it, it is okay you have to be able to discern between the two and learn that when it is truly your person you will have this unconditional love and you will be able to forgive whatever transgressions occurred okay i mean unless they're physically beating you or it's like some real seriously fucked up shit but if it's a situation that can be forgiven then forgive the situation because this is your person okay they were created for you you created this you manifested this so allow this to happen okay for some of you there is this incessant drama that you guys have going on now i don't know how emotionally charged the situation is but regardless, it's uh, there's a need to remain calm, okay? You don't need to contribute to the bullshit. You don't need to contribute to the drama. You need to find a way to stay centered because when you stay centered, the issue will resolve faster, okay? You will be able to deal with the situation in a quicker and uh, in a better manner, okay? Now, this situation involves some jealousy, like people that are envious or maybe you're jealous and envious. And if this is you, understand that being jealous and envious of people is not beneficial to you because you're putting negativity. So if you have a partner that you have this jealous streak where you're like, oh, well, why are you wearing that? Or what are you doing? And why are you out at this time? And you're always questioning things like that. Understand that all that's going to do is create detriment to your relationship. It's going to deteriorate because no one likes to be questioned. No one likes to be treated as a child. We are each individual. We are each grown and we have the right to wear whatever we want, go wherever we want and speak to whoever we want. Okay. It's not, oh, well, I'm with you and now you can control me. I'm with you and you can tell me how I can and can't dress or who I can and can't speak to. That is not how this works, okay? That's not how relationships work. And some of you may be envious of someone who you see as having money or having more than you do. And understand that you don't know what these people have gone through. You don't know what these people have suffered through to get to where they are in life. So before you become jealous and judgmental and envious of people, and ask yourself, would you have wanted to live the life that they've lived? Could you even walk in their shoes if you were given the opportunity? Would you want to? And most of the time is no. Most of the time you can't handle the shit that somebody else has lived through. So why be jealous? Why be hateful towards them when they've already lived? A very difficult life you know it's not necessary mind your business and focus on your own life focus on what you need to do focus on what's beneficial to your life okay because you are the only person that's keeping you from getting to where you need to be because the way it's showing me is there's nothing stopping you except yourself all you have to do is open the door and walk through it so there's no need for the envious and the judgment and the jealousy there's no need for any of that because you can't control somebody else if somebody's gonna go fuck somebody you can't stop them somebody wants to go outside half fucking naked i mean you can try to stop them but it's not gonna work out so understand that you have no control the only person you control is you and when you learn how to control your jealousy and those thoughts because it's all mental your mind will fuck with you as much as it possibly can to make you believe all of the bad and all of the negative and that's not true you know sometimes maybe but for the most part it's just your head overacting and doing stupid shit so you have to find a way to bring balance to this situation okay it's necessary for you to bring this balance because you are who you are you don't need anyone else you don't need to depend on other people and the more you realize that you can create your life and you can be independent from someone else and still have a relationship with somebody 
then that is when your life is going to take off and that's when everything's going to start working out because it's showing me that the things that you have been working for what it is that you want is coming to fruition okay things are beginning to take off but you have to learn how to stay out of the drama okay you have to release this now for some of you you may be going through a divorce um i'm not sure you know exactly how this is working out but some of you you are going through a divorce because it is showing me a courthouse and it's showing me judgment so whatever is going on you know and it is going to be a very emotional thing for some of you and the person that you are dealing with may not be so honest in the dealings you know they may be full of shit they may lie they may do all of these things oh thank you amber how are you doing tonight you know, so when you're going towards these things and you're working on this, you know, just be careful with the types of people that you're dealing with, okay? Because there are some, there's a woman that is going to give you, like, she's showing genuine love, genuine emotion, and a man that is coming with a firm and stable offer. So whatever judgment has occurred or whatever things are occurring, you know, there is success, there is fortune that is going to come out of this. But you need to leave this situation, this person, this uh, this toxic energy. Because if you're dealing with someone that is this, uh, this kind of manipulative, narcissistic, toxic energy, you have to walk away from that in order to get the, this offer that's going to come in, okay? Because judgment is being called on this relationship. It's the close of this cycle and you have to release that. Okay, so pay attention to what's happening in your life, okay? And own who you are, own your power, and know that you control what happens in your life, okay? While sometimes when you're dealing with people like this, you get to a point where you feel like you're powerless. You feel like you no longer have a say in your life or what happens or how it's going to happen, and that's what they do, you know, they beat down on you, they wear you down to the point where you're just like, can I do this by myself? Can I handle a job? Can I handle taking care of kids? Can I handle a house? Can I do all of this alone? And yes, yes, you can. Okay, don't let somebody be so in your head that makes you believe that you're not good enough. Okay, you are good enough. Hi, Janine. Oh, thank you. How are you doing today? I'm good. You know, had my baby's party today, so that was fun. And I know I have to email you. I didn't forget about you. It's just been a busy ass day for me. <laughs> um, but please, you know, understand that with every storm, there is a new beginning. So just because this toxicity is ending, beauty and joy is going to come out of this. OK, but you have to find your courage. You have to find your strength in this. And find the beauty in all the little shit, you know. When you start seeing the beauty in everything, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. This relationship has to end, okay? They're showing me that it is a completion. Like, this is over. It, you have to allow it to end. And there is a, a move that needs to happen. So whether it's you need to move or that person needs to move, somebody needs to get the fuck out of the house. <laughs> I'm sorry if that sounded not so nice. Because they're showing that you're so caught up in this situation that you're not seeing the bigger picture. So before you make any rash decisions, you know, kind of step back, look at the picture, see what's going on. See what the real issues are. Because right now, your loyalty and faithfulness are very much misplaced. So really sit with what it is that you're doing and the people that you're dealing with or the relationship that it is that you have going on right now. And see, you know, am I being loyal to the right person? Am I being faithful to the right person? Because it's showing me that you're not. It's showing me that you're giving your loyalty to this person that abuses you, that takes advantage of you, that treats you very poorly. And it's not fair, okay? So this needs to change. And it's going to change. Whether you want it to or not, it's better if you kind of flow <laughs> with what's happening and with what the universe is pushing you towards as opposed to going against it because if you fight with it then the tower moments are so much worse and it's it's just so much fucking harder on you emotionally like and physically financially like it makes it that much harder 
okay you don't need to hurry or force things to happen because everything is happening as it should everything is as well is unfolding the way it should but you do need to be aware of what's going on you need to be aware that this person is toxic to you that this person is treating you this way that they are manipulating you that they are trying to control you you have to be aware of this and you have to be able to change this situation because if you can't change it then it's not going to work okay so they're saying you need to set aside your concerns for now and you can make a decision later you know but right now it's more about observing what's happening because this is a situation that needs to occur and try to meditate okay and you might need a vacation just to get the fuck away from everything oh that sounds so nice i'm so jealous right now jenny <laughs> I wish I was not here either, but I'm here, so I have to make the best out of the shitty weather. I don't get to go see pretty boats and fucking Christmas lights. <laughs> um, so, you know, be patient because, like I said, everything's in divine timing. So while you might be trying to find a way out and you feel like you keep getting blocked off every time you're like, oh, I'm going to take a step this way and it's like, nah, and then I'm going to take a step that way and it's like, nah maybe there's still lessons maybe it's still something that you need to figure out or learn in this situation but understand that as you rest and you take the time to plan and be strategic in what you're doing and invest your time and money where it needs to be and be uh i don't want to say frugal be smart with your spending okay make sure that you have a proper plan in place okay so make sure that you're getting the rest that you need because once you start believing in yourself there are people that are going to start appearing to help you okay they're going to help you find the balance between your work and your home life between all of these things that are happening because when we get so caught up in one thing it affects some the other areas of our life and when the other areas of our life get affected, that's when everything starts spiraling out of control. So you have to find a way to bring balance to this so that way you don't go crazy, okay? So it's necessary for you to be grateful because you have so much to celebrate. You know, there's so many little things that you can be grateful for, especially now. It's the holidays and a lot of people don't even have family, you know. They don't have anyone there to be with them. So be appreciative of these things, okay? Because this will help you find the feelings of peace and happiness. So work on those things if that's what's happening for you. And please release the situation. It is bad for you. <laughs> it's raining. I don't think that makes me feel better because it's cold as fuck out here. <laughs> so mm, I think I'll take the rain any day over this freezing ass weather. Um, <laughs> yeah. So this relationship needs to be released because there's trying to bring balance. So maybe there was such an imbalance in this relationship that it's like, okay, well, this was so fucked up for so long that they're going to bring balance to it before you're actually able to walk out of it. And I say that in the sense of maybe you gave and gave and gave and gave and like you had nothing left to give and you gave all of you. But they didn't appreciate that you gave all of you. They didn't appreciate all of the things that you did for them or the relationship or the family. So now when the angel of balance comes in, they're balancing the scales. So maybe now that they're aware that they're probably going to lose you, that they're trying to make things right. So in the way of their, they're trying to make things right. You know, maybe it is balancing in the sense of karma. Like now they feel your pain. They feel what you've been through. They understand your suffering. But that's just creating a balance. It doesn't mean that you need to continue with this cycle. It doesn't mean that you stay there, okay? So you need to make sure that you are treasured by the people that love you. And be surrounded by positive and loving people. Because when you allow this to end... It shows that you're shedding all of the old, that you're prepared to start a new life. You're prepared to go into the new things that you've been hoping for and wishing for. And they're showing me that your ancestors are with you and they're trying to guide you to make the best decision. And they're giving you these little, uh, 
these nudges, these sparks, these inspirations that are like, hey, you know, leave, go do this, do this, do that. And understand, like I said, sometimes we get blocked when we're like, okay, well, I'm going to go and I'm, keep trying because maybe it's not the right time right now, but you don't know when the right time is. So you have to be continuously putting forth the effort. So if you're the one leaving, keep looking for places, keep looking for jobs, keep looking for whatever it is, because when it is the right time, it will all fall into place. It'll start moving. So just because it's not happening right now doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It just means it's not that right moment right now. So take the time and put the effort into that because the person, the per <laughs> I'm going to say person. They're showing me a man, but I'm going to say person because it looks like it is a person that um, has money. The person you're dealing with that is your person, it has money. They have money, you know, and they're, uh, it's like you're feeling like you, you're you lacking, you know. They have money, they have everything, but it's somehow you're still lacking, you know, and you're very intuitive and very aware of what's going on, and it looks like they're going to... There's generosity, so maybe they're like uh, an allowance, a budget. I don't, I don't know what you call it. Like whatever you want to call it. Like maybe they give you money, or they just like try to keep you uh, satisfied. You know, they're like, oh well, I'm just gonna give her this to shut her the fuck up, or I'm gonna give her that to shut her the fuck up. Understand that that's what they're doing. Okay, it's not. Um, it's not genuine. It's not because it's, oh, I love you. It's because they're manipulating you. They know what they're doing. They know how to get you to stay. They know that you're dependent upon them. So please take the time out, okay? It's time to reconsider whatever this is. You know, you always have the right to change your mind. Don't feel like, oh, well, you know, I went and I got married and now I'm stuck for the rest of my life. Don't do that. Because had I done that, then I would still be like, oh yeah, well, I'm still stuck in this situation that I don't want to be in, that I'm not happy in, and I've expressed my discontent, I've expressed that I wasn't happy in that. So make sure that you take that, you own that you can change your mind at any time that you want to, okay? And go after your dreams, go after what it is that you believe in, what it is that you truly want. Whatever that is, and embrace your uniqueness, embrace your individuality, okay? Because in doing so, you'll be able to bring forth harmony to your life, okay? But you have to put forth the effort. When you start putting forth the effort, then you're going to get the harmony. You're going to find that peace that you've been looking for. And you have to accept things as they are rather than fighting to change it because... You ever notice the more you are like, uh, you see things trying to fall away or they're falling apart and you're like trying to grab on for dear life and you're just like, no, 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 no. And you're holding on and you're holding on. But the more you hold on, the more fucked up things get. You have to just let it be what it is. And if it is something that needs to fall away, allow it to fall away, okay? Because they're showing that you're going to find support. And it's going to come from your tribe. You have to start calling in your tribe. You have to start working on your meditations and your healings. Because when you do this, then your tribe is going to start coming into you. Finding their way to you. Because you're becoming more sensitive. And the more sensitive you become, it's necessary for you to avoid the harsh relationships and environments. And situations that are we find ourselves in okay and even chemicals like substances and such because the more you become spiritually in tune the more your body will naturally reject these things you know you won't feel good you'll be tired like you'll feel badly physically you'll feel bad so you'll know it's not good for you and you have to start trusting these things okay so right now is the time for you to take the risk take that risk and follow whatever it is that your dreams are if it is another person, then go after that person. Let that other person know because I always say that I rather speak my mind and I rather say whatever it is and I let it be known than to sit with it and have regret later on. Even if I'm rejected, if it's not accepted, if it's whatever happens, I like to know for my peace of mind that, well, 
I did what I needed to do. I said what I needed to say. And I'm at peace with it because I was honest. I spoke my truth and I stood with it. So always do that, okay? Don't be afraid of expressing yourself because the only person that's going to have regret is you. Even if you get rejected, at least you know, well, I was honest and they just weren't up for it. And that's cool. You know, it's okay. Not everybody feels the same way. But don't ever sit with things and then just let them sit because you're always going to wonder. You're always going to be like, well, what if I did say something? What if I did say I like you? What if I did say I love you or I want to be with you? You know, things could have been different. But if you sit with it and you don't ever say shit, you're never going to know. So it's better to be rejected than to not say shit. That's my personal opinion. You know, you don't have to take it. I'm just saying personally, i rather just say whatever the fuck it is and keep it moving. You know, and you like it, you like it, you don't like it, we don't have to fuck it, we don't have to do nothing. But it's always best, okay? And understand whatever your priorities are, if this is something that is that important to you, when you take this leap of faith, the doors are going to open. So don't think that you taking this leap of faith is not going to take you anywhere. Because they're showing me that there is... The door is going to open, okay? Right now, it's like the heart is kind of guarded and, it, you know, you're afraid, which is natural. We're all afraid. But the right person will be able to get past those barriers. They will find a way to break down those guards and those walls. They will get through. So just make sure that you're prioritizing the right things, okay? Because right now... You're wanting a more meaningful life and you're realizing that it is time for you to let go. It's time for you to move on. And this is going to be a major life change because maybe you've been in this commitment for years and years and years and you've just kind of been like, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. And then it doesn't get better. So you need to realize that sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Okay. And moving on may be the best thing for you. But there's uh, different opinions. So whether it's you're at odds with yourself or you're at odds with other people, you know, everybody, like I said, everybody isn't going to agree and everybody isn't going to feel the way you feel. That's when it comes to just being honest, you know, just be honest, always stand in your truth and express it because you never know. You never fucking know. Maybe you'll be surprised and they'll be like, well, you know what? I do love you or I do want this. So just take the time that you need, you know, sometimes you need to go within and really sit with yourself because you're saying you need to commit to your spiritual growth and sometimes spirit will delay things for you if you're not tending to that part of your life. You know, they're like, oh, well, you want all of these beautiful things, but are you tending to your soul's needs? Are you doing what spirit is calling you to do? You know, that's why it's important for you to focus on that part because when you do focus on that, everything else falls into place. So maybe you need to find someone to help guide you through this or maybe you can help others. You know, you can guide others through these things. But take a break from all of the nonsense, okay? Because it's going to lead you to success. And any way you go, there's going to be freedom. You know, because you're not in that situation anymore. You're not trapped. You're not stuck anymore. So that journey is done. It's completed. If you've been wondering, you've been worried, whatever it is, that journey with this toxic ass person is over and done. But when you close that chapter, there is a new one that's opening that's going to bring you the romance, the love that you've been looking for, the love that you've been waiting for. Okay, and it's going to bring you everything. Like, you're going to find great joy in those things. So, leave the toxic-ass people where they belong, okay? We going into 2020, we don't want no bad people. We going with the good people that love us and that want the best for us. Now, for those of you that have this broken heart and have been going through just emotionally, like, drained and broken and sad... You know, it's like you're burnt out, you're kind of like in sluggish mode, you're not really moving forward. You have to honor that, okay? Honor that feeling. Whether it's grief of a loss, grief from relationship ending, just whatever it is that's causing you that sadness, honor it. You know, acknowledge that, okay, I am sad, I am broken, 
this disturbing my soul because when you do that then you're not in an anxious place you're not so stressed out like oh my god like how can i get over this how can i do this how can i avoid these feelings because you can't avoid feelings you can't avoid them if you do you end up fucked up and then you end up facing them later on down the road and you're just like damn i wish i would have just dealt with this shit when it happened and i'd be over it by now so that's the reason why it's important for you to feel your feelings now and deal with these things now and allow them okay because they're not gonna last forever yeah you might cry yeah you might be sad and you might be like you know what i'm gonna stay in bed for a few days and that's fine you know but don't allow it to consume you like feel it and move past it because when you allow it to consume you then you're going to be more in your head and you're going to be thinking about what did i do wrong how did i go wrong what can i do to fix this can this be fixed and excuse me it doesn't matter okay what's done is done and if it's something that can be fixed then you make an effort to fix it if it's something that can't be fixed then guess what you gotta just let the shit go because you can't do shit to change it. So again, if you can change it, change it. If you can't change it, forget about it. Either way, there's no need to be in your head about it because you have one of two options. It can go either way and if you know, so don't be so freaking stressed out, but you need to rest. You know, I understand that sometimes when we are in this state of brokenness because there's no other word for it it's just heartbreak and you're just so sad that you just sit there and you're up and you're thinking about it and it's causing you more sadness because you keep reliving this you keep rethinking about rethinking these things and it's not necessary okay understand that it did happen it did occur maybe it was a beautiful thing and it's gone maybe it was something that you wanted so bad and now you can't have it understand all of these things because they all serve a purpose while we may not see why it happened it serves a purpose okay so as long as you stay thinking that you're um, you stay like that you're not going to make progress you have to kind of get out of this okay because when you start trusting in yourself and trusting in spirit things are going to start working out better and understand that home is where the heart is so if the person it is that you love or you want hi beth thank you so much <laughs> how are you doing tonight you know home is where the heart is so sometimes you meet people and this is what i consider like my soul mate my soul people are the people that i instantly connect with like my soul connects me to them that i feel like when i'm with them i am me I don't have to put on any mask. I don't have to pretend to be something I'm not. I am genuinely just me and they love me the way I am. So that is home. You know, that's where I feel safe. That's where I feel comfortable is that I'm able to share whatever it is and I'm not gonna be judged for it. So when you find that, then you're able to move past it, you know, because right now it's like you're in your thoughts and you've been working hard, but it shows like, uh, there's a relationship that's in question that you're like okay maybe i need to let it go or maybe it just requires hard work but you have to focus your energy because karma is a very real thing and it is going to bring justice to the situation you know and they're showing me the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles so those are great things you know very beneficial monetary you know abundance things like that but you need to focus your energy and put strong intention into what it is you're trying to create. <laughs> Aren't cartoons the best? What are you watching right now, Beth? I pretty much have seen probably every fucking thing imaginable. It's horrible. So, trust your intuition, okay? Trust that you know what's best for you and focus your intention to what it is that you're going towards because there is someone that is thinking about a relationship or offering you marriage or offering you commitment and they're realizing that it is going to take some work and it is going to take some effort but if you are willing to put in that effort and that um the time and the energy then you are going to get to your ten of pentacles you are going to get everything that you want but you have to have that intention you have to strong have to have that intention and also be willing to make a mistake because if it's something you want you don't know if it's going to work out or not but if you don't try then you're really never going to know 
at least this way you're like all right i'm gonna take a leap of faith and i'm gonna see what happens because in love they're showing me that you are gonna persevere in love so be open to it you know if some of you are really like close the fuck off from it be open to it because you have to find that balance right now between the physical pleasures in life and your spiritual tarzan <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that a few times. Uh, I'm pretty seen everything, but I think the most movies were Nightmare Before Christmas and Cars. When the, the first one came out, I'd probably seen them at least a thousand times. At the very least. So yes. Oh, and Ratatouille. That one too. <laughs> um, so, you know, find the balance in your life, okay? Whatever it is that you need to bring back into balance do that okay because when you practice self-care and you do what it is that makes you you that makes you feel happy that brings you this peace there's no need to worry because everything's going to work out perfectly but you have to love you you have to come to this in from a humble standpoint okay because everyone's on the same path not the same exact path but we're all on a journey you know we all have our own things to fulfill and it's important to be humble, okay? When you come at things with humility, then people appreciate you more. People are more open to you. So be careful and review the details of everything carefully because when you're fair and objective in your decision making, then you'll always win, okay? Everything is always going to work out for you, you know? And maybe you are an inquisitive and truthful and realistic person, you know? Undiplomatic and some people need that you know sometimes you need that some people forget what that is so when they encounter it they don't know how to deal with it <laughs> little kids are funny um you know so sometimes it's hard to hear the things that people are gonna say and i'm that person that i'm like you're probably not gonna like shit i'm about to say to you but i'm gonna say it anyways and people probably like, bitch, I wish you didn't. Just shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear the shit that you're saying. And I'm like, sorry. Like, my soul says I need to say it, so I'm saying it. And you could be pissed off at me for as long as you want. But I love you. You'll be all right. <laughs> so, you know, try to speak your truth with kindness. But always speak your truth, okay? Don't keep it bottled up for somebody else's comfort because somebody's not ready to hear it or doesn't want to hear it. That's on them. However they want to take it or don't want to take it, that's on them. What's important is that you're at peace with yourself and you say the things that you need to say, okay? So always be true to you and make sure that you're taking the steps to find your financial security, okay? Whether it's yourself, family, kids, however it is, and make wise investments and start planning for your future and honor your family traditions, okay? Because some of us, like, uh, I, when I grew up, um, they kind of, I didn't get raised with the traditions of my family. It's things that I've kind of learned and I've gone back to as an adult. So if you have children, you know, teach them your traditions. Teach them what you grew up with. Teach them what's important and the things that they should know. All right? You know, you don't realize it until you've lost your parent or your grandparent in they're not there to carry those traditions on or instill them in you. And now you're the one that has to instill these traditions. And you're just like, how the fuck am I instilling something that I'm, I don't know how to instill? Like, they weren't instilled in me, but I'm going to instill them in you. Like, So, you know, find out, you know, work on it, find the knowledge and open your heart to love. Okay. Because there is a relationship that's coming in and it seems like all of these have ended in some type of relationship forming. So this relationship, you know, be open to it because it, it could be a past person <laughs> that's coming back around this time. There's my cat floating if you haven't seen him. <laughs> Why does he have that on? Get that off of him. He doesn't need that Why anymore. Funny, Mom? It's not funny. He hates it. Um, I know. That's making me mad. So... There is going to be a rebirth if this is a relationship that you've been in or maybe you've kind of been on and off with. And it's going to... 
it's going to be beneficial, okay? But only you know who this person is and if it's worth your time and your energy, okay? So I'm not saying if they were beating the shit out of you and it was a toxic-ass relationship that you jump head over heels back into that shit. Don't do that, you know? And also, don't be judgmental about people because people do grow. People do change. So I'm, like, on the fence, you know? You have to really use your own discernment with the people that you're encountering. And if they are genuinely changed, then they're going to show you that they genuinely are a different person. And if they haven't changed, then do not go back to that situation. Only if they show you, yes, I am different. Yes, I am going to put the effort in. Yes, I'm showing you that you are now a priority to me. Then you can proceed. But always proceed with caution, you know. Make sure that you're being smart about the decisions you're making. But again, with this uh, this music thing, you know, maybe you're a person. Like I said, we do get messages in music, so make sure that you're listening and if it's something that's like, you just like, why the fuck do I keep hearing this? Why is this coming up? Listen, listen to it and try to break it down and to see and see how it fits into your life or your love situation or whatever situation it is, because you'll be like, oh, well, this makes sense. And I understand because your ancestors are trying to communicate something to you. But sometimes you get these creative sparks and feelings. And some of you are writers. So please keep writing. And if you do write music, maybe you're a ghostwriter, write that, you know, when you take your inspiration, you take whatever it is that you're feeling and you put it into your work, that becomes more perfect, purposeful, it's more meaningful. You know, you find more joy and more success when you put your heart into the things that you do. And that will inspire and enlighten a lot of other people. So don't... Um, don't dim your light, don't dim yourself down or dim your work and say, well, it's not good enough or why am I even bothering? It's worth it, okay? Because even if it's just one person that appreciates your work, that appreciates your words, the things that you're doing, then you've helped to change somebody's life. And that is a big thing, okay? You don't know what your words can mean to one person, okay? That can mean the difference between life and death for an individual, so don't ever look at your life or your experiences like they're worthless or they don't mean anything. They do. Okay? Whether you see it or not, they do. So always share. You know, don't be ashamed of your past. Don't be ashamed of the things that you've been through. And don't be ashamed of being hopeful and taking chances and, you know, giving opportunities and taking those risks. Because if you don't do that, then are you really living your life? No, because you're living in fear, so you're not taking those opportunities. So be the fool. You know, sometimes you have to be the fool and just whatever people do that's on them, you know, it'll be their karma. But always be who you are, be true to you, and be honest and always stand in your truth and allow people to see who you are, the core of you, the true you. Because when you allow people to see that part of you, that's when your people come to you because you're finding who you truly are and you're not worried about how people are going to view you or feel about you or what they're going to think or the shit they're going to say everybody's going to talk shit i'm telling you everybody's going to talk shit you know people hate you just because they're like i hate that bitch and you're just like but why what'd she do to you nothing i just fucking hate her and that's really how people are so that's all their shit you know but please share your stories it's important because you don't know who you're going to inspire Okay, and believe me, there's people that I've met that I'm just like, oh my God. And, you know, they inspire me. They inspire me to be a better person. They inspire me to work harder towards things. So just be honest and be open with these people. Okay? And for those of you that do create music, you know, keep going. Because your music is going to change someone's life. Okay? It is important whether you compose, whether you write. Whatever it is, keep working towards it because it's going to be beneficial, okay? Um, yeah, so those are your messages for today. I love you guys. I hope you guys have an awesome night. And I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a good night.